Today on Ridge Roamer, we're going to take a look at the new Indian Sport Chief and figure out if it picks up where Harley left off when they abandoned the Dyna platform. There's an entire Harley subculture built around the Dyna platform, which gets upgrades to suspension, ergonomics, and power output that allows these stripped down cruisers to become awesome high performance machines and customized stunt cruisers. Harley Davidson and their never ending ability to alienate their loyal customer base announced discontinuation of the Dyna platform in 2017, switching for the 2018 model year to a new soft tail platform and transitioning traditional Dyna models into this new platform. While the new Lowrider S and Lowrider ST models still retain similar looks, they just haven't been received by the typical Dynabro as a suitable replacement. So maybe that's where the new Indian Chief lineup steps in, specifically the new Sport Chief. Let's investigate whether or not it'll fit the bill. First, let's take a look at what makes a Dyna the ideal platform for a performance or stunt cruiser and what modifications are being done to improve them. Primarily, it's the fact that Harley stuffed a big V-twin engine into the smallest stripped down chassis possible with traditional looks, including dual rear shocks. A big engine and a basic, relatively inexpensive motorcycle makes it the ideal starting point for almost any type of custom build, and Dyna loyalists haven't disappointed showing a wide variety of personalized motorcycles built off this platform. Today, you can't talk about the Dyna without at least mentioning Sons of Anarchy, the television show that brought tons of attention to the platform with many Dyna builds, including Jax Teller's modified 2003 FXD Dyna Superglide. Since 2017 was the last year of the Dyna, we'll look partly at the 2017 Harley Dyna Lowrider S for comparison purposes, but the Dyna was introduced all the way back in 1991. In its final year, the Dyna Lowrider S came with an upgraded 110 cubic inch twin cam fuel injected engine, making 114 foot pounds of torque, and the entire bike ready to ride only weighed 672 pounds in stock form. A 2003 Dyna like Jack's Road would have come in the twin cam 88 cubic inch engine, making 86 foot pounds of torque. The 2023 Indian Sport Chief comes with a 116 cubic inch V-twin making 120 foot-pounds of torque and the bike ready to ride weighs 685 pounds. Next we need to look at some of the basics, the similarities. Both brands offer air-cooled V-twins, both have 6-speed transmissions, though Dyna's prior to 2006 are 5 speeds, and both have belt final drive. The Dyna came with a full steel tube perimeter frame that went around the engine to provide the ultimate strength and durability for harsh abuse, and the Chief has the same setup. The Lowrider S and Sport Chief both have small quarter front fairings and short rear fenders. Looking at the suspension, the Dyna came with non-adjustable dual rear shocks, not the hidden rear mono shock like the new Softail platform. These dual rear shocks only offered two inches of suspension travel, but are easily upgraded to longer shocks for additional suspension travel, typically with a high performance piggyback shock. This longer shock also raises the rear of the motorcycle, providing additional ground clearance and lean angle, and offers solid mounting points for sliders. The Indian Sport Chief comes standard with long travel Fox piggyback shocks, providing four inches of suspension travel. Front suspension on the Dyna was a 49 millimeter non-adjustable cartridge front fork, which is often replaced with a high performance inverted front fork to increase suspension travel and performance and decrease unsprung weight. The Indian Sport Chief comes stock with a 43 millimeter KYB inverted front fork. Both the 2017 Dyna Lowrider S and the 2023 Lowrider S come with dual 300mm front discs with axially mounted dual piston calipers and 292mm rear disc with dual pistons. 
The Indian comes with dual Brembo 320mm front discs with radially mounted four piston calipers and a 300 single rear disc with dual piston caliper. Seats, handlebars, and pegs also need to be discussed on this style bike. The stock Dyna Lowrider S came with a small solo seat offering a low 27 inch seat height but usually gets replaced by a taller seat with a large step at the back to help hold the rider on during heavy acceleration and high angle wheelies. The Indian already comes with that style seat and also has a 27 inch seat height, even with the taller seat and taller suspension. The handlebars of the Dyna retain a low overall profile, but are often modified with taller risers to help ergonomics for stunt riding. The Indian Sport Chief already comes with 6-inch risers, so no modifications are required unless you want to upgrade to their optional 10-inch risers for an even taller bar. Both bikes have mid-control pegs keeping your knees bent and your feet under you for greater control compared to feet forward mounted pegs and controls. Some other differences? The Indian uses a single sump oil system making maintenance easier compared to the Harley's separate engine, transmission, and primary oil systems. The Indian uses a more durable gear-driven primary compared to the Harley's chain primary. The Indian comes standard with a 4-inch round touchscreen display with a ton of information including Bluetooth, navigation, audio controls, ride modes, cruise control, and much more. The Harley also has a 4-inch round display, but it's an analog speedometer with a small digital panel for basic information like fuel level and gear indication. All lights are LED on the Indian, while even in 2023, Harley is still using incandescent lights in their turn signals. In 2017, the Dyna Lowrider S had an MSRP of 17449 Today, the 2023 Lowrider S starts at $18,199 plus $950 for ABS plus $750 in material surcharge. The 2023 Indian Sport Chief starts at $18,999 plus a logistics surcharge of $600. So adding all those up, $19,899 plus freight and dealer charges for the Harley or $19,599 plus freight and dealer charges for the Indian, and you get a ton of performance and style upgrades already included compared to the thousands more in accessories that the Harley requires to get to the same point. So is this a true Dyna-worthy successor, or just a poser machine for rubs? Is all the standard technology on the Indian going to hurt it compared to the simplistic older Dyna stunt machines? Let me know what you think in the comments below. The true test will be watching real-world modifications and stunt riding of these Indians to see if they can stand up to the abuse, and I can't wait. Thanks for joining me today. If you watched this far, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Until next time, ride safe and have a great day.